How to listen to podcasts. What is a podcast? Podcast is essentially a series of spoken word audio episodes, all focused on a particular topic or theme, cycling, startups, you name it. It could be celebrities having a conversation. It could be like a talk show radio host. I personally like to think of it as um, like modern day AM radio stations. Um, you know, you can find one about cooking. You can find one about exotic animals, traveling, celebrity gossip, science. Uh, you can find audiobooks essentially. Um, so whenever you subscribe to a show with an app on your phone, uh, you can just listen to these episodic uh, audio files using headphones or through your car, your speakers. Uh, they're very cool. They're hosted on various platforms. Um, it's basically, like I said earlier, talk radio. Um, and most of the time, they're free, which is nice. So listening to your podcasts on your smartphone. How do we listen to a podcast? Simply put down a podcatcher. Funny, you know, it's a podcatcher. Um, usually phones have an app with a podcast feature already installed. Um, I, when I say that, I'm generally referring to Apple products. Apple products will always have this little purple icon, as you can see the finger pointing to. Um, and that will be where Apple keeps all of its podcasts. And you can also find them on apps such as Spotify, or even if you were to just go to the app store and type in something, um, doesn't matter if you have an Android or a iPhone, you can find an, a podcast distributor. And that's just how they, uh, how they propagate. Um, so yes, you would basically, once you get this app and open it up, they'll give you various subcategories and different categories giant lists and you can just narrow it down based off of what you feel like listening to. Um, I'm going on a rant here beyond the slide because that's just who I am. But uh, I'd like to raise the point of, uh, you know, for those of you who are in the guided meditation sessions, you can easily find guided meditations for podcasts and you'll be able to sit there and have somebody, um, you know, instruct um, breathing sessions with you and paint beautiful visual landscapes um, all through a podcast. So then that way you can have a guided meditation session on the run or whenever you feel like you would like to have one. But for the apples or the iPhones, newer models usually come with the free podcast app, or free podcast app installed. And if you uh, don't have a recent iPhone or iPad, you can easily download one on the App Store free of charge. Um, also, there is one called Overcast, which is a great alternative to the podcast app if you don't have one pre-installed. But again, I, uh, I would vouch the default app because it's just so streamlined for everybody. As for Androids, um, they have apps such as Pocket Cast or Dog Catcher which range from three to $4, uh, but are highly recommended. Uh, Stitcher Radio and Podcast and Radio Addict are both free, and you can get them on the Google Play Store if you're using an Android or Pixel phone. But again, if you're like myself and you have something called Spotify, which is essentially like an Apple Music or a music uh, provider, they also have podcasts there and also audiobooks that are under the veil or category of podcasts so that you can get both. Customizing the settings once you have your podcast app set up is a great way to have your app um, just available to you. So once you've downloaded a podcatcher, make sure that accessibility allows you to download items through the app. So then that way you're not going to have issues once you're downloading them because you're essentially downloading each file um, sometimes depending on the app. Other apps will just let you stream them much like how we use YouTube where you don't have to download each individual video they'll just play 
automatically. And then once you like pause them or stop using them, they just kind of discard themselves and they don't take up any memory, which is great. But at the same time, if you wanna take them on the run, you might wanna to go to the general and accessibility settings to allow these apps to download so you can listen to them while on the bus or while in the car or something. Um, so yes, you'd have to go through your, uh, your, your accessibility settings and just click um, allow for downloads. Many podcasting apps will also give you an option to download every single episode, as I mentioned already. And uh, as I said, this can take up space fairly quickly. So certain providers are better um, for, you know, just having them be streamed rather than like needing to download each one painstakingly. Uh, personally, myself, uh, my first time using a podcast was a long time ago when I was in uh, junior high school uh, and uh, I would have to download all of my podcasts individually. And then they finally introduced streaming services to the, uh, to the software, which was like a godsend at the time and unheard of, but uh, yeah, old school podcasts were just one season or uh, one episode uh, you know, per listen. And it was obviously, again, it takes up a lot of space. Now, once you have the app, um, you know, functioning and the downloads already, you can just simply go to the top bar and go into the search function and browse. Um, again, you can look at trending or top podcasts. Usually uh, in Spotify for myself, they'll recommend something like philosophy. And, and that's just because it can tell, you know, based off of my, um, you know, behavior that like, that would be something that caters to me. But that also means that like, for everyone here listening to me, your recommended podcasts will also be uh, basically tailored to your own personal tastes. So it's fairly quickly to find one uh, once you have the app set up. You know, they'll just immediately um, recommend some that they think might interest you, and, and they very well might. Uh, again, usually each episode is displayed, and you just simply have to hit the cloud button with the download or the, the down button. Um, that's our uh, new generic download sign. So whenever you see this little cloud icon with the downwards arrow, that's, that's how you download the app. Uh, you could also have the option of just clicking on the episode and it playing automatically. But if it doesn't give you that feature, again, try to find this cloud icon here that the finger's pointing towards and you can just get it instantly. Now, accessing your podcasts. Now, depending on the model of your device, um, you'll have to use different mediums, you know. So for iOS, it'll uh, use iTunes or Apple Music. Um, for Android, it'll just use a music player. So some of these apps, like for example, Spotify and the podcast app, uh, they'll keep themselves, they'll keep the podcasts within themselves, but these other um, adjacent apps will uh, download directly into your files. And that means you'll have to use a media player, a music player, or a file reader to find them and play them which sounds tedious, but once you get the hang of it, it isn't. They're just right there in a folder that says podcasts. And I'm fairly confident that every Android has an app called Files. And once you open up the Files app, you simply will find your podcasts there. You can just hit play. And as for other devices, you can just simply go on Music Player, open that up, and then just go from there. And you should be able to see the, the podcast name uh, you know, and just have easy listening. So they also go on your computer. It's a total thing. It's the same as I, it's the same um, idea that I just described for Android and iPhones. Uh, you can use iTunes, you can use Spotify on your computer. You could just simply have them right there on your own, on your own uh, desktop and play from you know your kitchen table or your office or your living room and have them play out loud from your uh, from your computer so 
if you would like to do this, and you also, if you'd like to do this offline, you just simply would need to download a third play, third party client that uh, allows to play MP3 files. And then you can play as many, uh, as many podcasts as you want from whatever uh, MP3 file reader that you usually use. So the default one that everybody usually gets is iTunes or uh, QuickTime Media Player or whatever Microsoft is providing. MP3 files are essentially just sound files, as most people know, and podcasts will be downloaded under that, um, that format. And therefore, they'll use whatever standard default app that you use to play off of on your computer. And once you pre-downloaded them, uh, you can essentially play them offline. And that is what this slide is trying to explain. It's just simply saying that, you know, once you have them on your computer and they're on your software and your storage, you're good to go. You can play it at any time you like. Now, you could also customize your settings. So once you downloaded your podcast and checked out all the options for customizing, you can uh, change the file type. And that means like if it's an MP3 or if it's an FLAC, which is a higher standard of audio, uh, if you'd like to know, put it somewhere uh, beyond downloads in your files, you could put them in their own like folder that says podcasts. You can do that. Uh, you could have them be slowed down or sped up. And these are all things that are accessible using Apple Music or Spotify or uh, different media players. Um, they just offer this kind of level of flexibility because they genuinely try to basically podcasts are, are the same as having a music file nowadays. Just instead of having music, it's just spoken word dialogue. Now, searching for a podcast on your computer is essentially the same thing. Um, you can look at all of them in the public record. You can just go here in the top right corner, just like looking for a song or a YouTube video or a Google, and you can just type the word podcast or, or type the word uh, cooking podcast or, or podcast book uh, or even some kind of dialogue on your favorite soap opera. They quite literally have something for everybody. Now, Saving your podcasts is fairly simple. As I said, uh, you can use Apple Music or Zoom and just click get or save or play and they'll just download them. Uh, most of them will also allow you to just double click them and then they'll just start playing automatically. Um, so you don't really need to, you know, fixate on the fact of like, mm, well, you know, I need to download it and then find it and play it. Um, what this slide is saying is, is, is actually, you know, it's, it's almost convoluted uh, because nowadays I'm fairly confident that you can just click these and they'll play automatically. So we'll move on. Now, every manual client differs slightly um, from, you know, listening and downloading. Uh, you'll simply, you, it'll say subscribe if you're using Apple Music or Spotify, but let me assure you that it does not mean that you need to subscribe in a monetary sense. Um, when it says subscribe, for example, if I'm listening to a podcast series that I really like and I'm caught up, I'll click subscribe and it'll automatically let me know when the next week's episode is out. That's it. It's free. It's going to stay free, but they're going to basically sit there and be like, hey, Nicholas, your favorite podcast on UFOs, for example, came out again this week and we pre-downloaded it or we highlighted it and we're going to put it over here so you can look at it again. Kind of like a, a PVR on your TV. I think that that's what the word is, but yeah. Now, accessing them, they have their own separate area um, on your platforms to find. So once you find them, you'll be able to look at the list of the ones that you uh, you flagged or downloaded or highlighted or bookmarked for that exam, for example, to listen to the future or listen in the future, I mean. Um, yeah, Spotify is what I use. It's what, uh, it's just, you know, I just like it. So if you have an account, 
you just simply just go under podcasts on your phone or computer and uh, go to the podcast tab and then go to browse and you can check out the different genres by just simply you know, going to that area. And they'll recommend a lot more podcasts based off of what you were already interested in. Uh, so essentially, they'll give you a giant rabbit hole of similar programs or radio shows that you might enjoy listening to if you enjoyed listening to something unlike what I said earlier, UFOs, for example. You know, maybe they'll sit there and say spooky stories because it's Halloween or, or holiday themed things for all I know. Who, who knows? But they always try to stay generally within the area of your own interests so that they don't give you random things that, you know you would be interested in because they want you to they want you to be interested invested in, in, in listening to podcasts fairly intellectual thing to do